My name is Ed, Edward Gong, and I'm 75 years old. My profession, ha, I'm moving pianos for a living, uh, you know. And the door is about 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, understand that there's physics involved in it. They look at the term of having a couple of three fellows carry it. So when they're like walking by myself, it looks like I'm not going to carry it. You see a piano way in the neighborhood um, of anywhere from 450, 400 to six, 700 pounds. And you carry it, that would throw hurt your back. A regular mover, they used to have three guys with it as a crew and, uh, and of course, a big fella, so they can carry it. Okay, now turn the front end some more. Right. You got it, now go on forward. That's it, you does it. You got it. Thank you. Now, right now, down you come. All the way. I want more weight. I want more weight. A little bit more. That's right. I'm going to turn. Turn all the way. Swing your hand around. To your left. i tell you what you're going to do for me. Yeah. Go in the truck. Bring a concrete block for me. There's a concrete block and a piece of rug there. One more step. All right, then. So it's just going to go all the way over there. Rest. Okay. I'm resting. <laughs> I am relieved. It's like that was awesome. At <laughs> time, you wonder how healthy you are. You don't really know that. You feel good, and I guess you're healthy. But you feel bad, you thought you're not healthy. If you have bad knees, doesn't mean you're unhealthy, you just have bad knees. Your other part of your body is all right. I think you have to do your exercises. That is probably, I look at it, I say, that's about as important as anything else you could do. If I keep on moving pianos, I know I'm healthy because I have to stay pretty healthy to move pianos. Now, I wouldn't say you're all 100%. You feel bad one day, all right, well, you say one day but you keep on feeling bad all the time, you quit. You have no choice. Okay, okay. You got to know the balance and center of gravity of what you're tying. You got to know you have to tie the center of gravity to your truck. And you have to tie the, uh, uh, the arm force on either side to the truck. And if you do it right, the piano becomes part of the truck. Yeah. And I learned that the hard way, because if you don't get it right, it's not going to happen. But when you tie it down right, you fall off. And um, I didn't lose a lot, but you hate to lose even one. It's a, 
I'd make a big noise. Done dance work. I have do dance choreography, which I love. I have done drawing art. I have done landscape art. I try Chinese art with a brush, and it's a all a little bit different. But of course, now I'm really into my singing. My singing is good. My teacher helped me, and in the last couple three weeks, I I made a lot of improvement. I'm a little bit of everything. Not, I'm not sure that's very smart, but I, that's me. I'm a person that's like that. Oh, give me a push. <laughs> started when I first started after I got out of college I decided I want some I want a piano well I bought one and then I bought two and then I could compose it and I pick up everything that come along and then I collect up to 400 right or left doesn't matter what or where so Firstly, I store, store them in garages, different garages, and then I move around and in the process of moving from place to place. I lose a few here and there, and finally lost almost all of them. And, uh, and then what's left, a few, few I have left, I, uh, I store them here and where else? It happens, yeah, just like, just like living, it just happened. My problem is not enough time. You got to remember, in art form, to do well, you got to spend time to bring the fundamental part together. Just bring the fundamental together. You don't have to talk about uh, a, a very exciting, beautiful things, but just bringing it together is time consuming. And after you bring it together, now you're gonna make it more beautiful then. And that takes more time. My name is Ed, Edward Gong, and I'm 75 years old. My profession, ha, 
I'm building pianos for a living, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs>